A little discussion with my man Nate on the ring attire. It's my mate, Nate. We're That's ladies right. and gentlemen, I this bout like scheduled ring for four three-minute rounds <laughs> in the light heavyweight division. This bout is sanctioned by the Professional Boxing Association. Timekeeper at the bell, Peter McCann. And the third man in charge of the action in the ring, referee Roberto Ramirez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first, fighting out of the bull corner, he is wearing the purple and white. His official weight of 173.5 pounds. He has a record of four fights, one loss, three wins, and two of those wins come in by way of knockout. He is representing Thailand, the land of smiles. Introducing my man. His opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing the red and white. His official weight of 174.8 pounds. He has a record of four fights, one loss, one draw, two wins, and one of those wins come in by way of knockout. Hailing from the great country, Brazil. Introducing Winterson. Okay, you know the rules already. Remember, punches are good over the number, and when I say break, we want to step back, we're not landing punches. Okay? God bless you both. Touch. Thailand versus Brazil. Here we go. Four rounds, light heavyweight division. I think this has a sneaky chance Second to be out. a really, Plus really one. good, exciting fight with two guys with different styles. Here we go. My mate Nate in the purple and white. Winterson Nunez in the red. Right away, some nice crisp jabs from my mate Nate. Good footwork right off the bat, but good head movement and defense from Winterson Nunez. Like you guys are saying, I think, I think this is one of those dark horse fights that people aren't talking mm -hmm. about enough because it's closer and more competitive than most people gave it credit for. And at most boxing events, you really don't put a lot of stock in the open workouts. At this event, there's been so much reaction and attention put to those open workouts. Guys, a lot of winners in Nunez's game comes from his guard. It comes from his ability to kind of stalk his prey down while being defensively irresponsible. Now, if his opponent figures out that guard, it can be a long night for him. But right now, he's doing well, being defensively responsible, taking his time. So it's looking good off the wrap. Ooh. Nice one-two landed there, though. Roundhouse, I don't say this very much about you, but you are right on point about my mate Nate and his ability to hit and pass. He's got a really nice stiff jab and a nice right hand. Well, I'll take that, Coach. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm actually writing it down right now. A compliment <laughs> one. <laughs> there is that one-two that my mate Nate has been throwing. Good footwork from my mate Nate. Giving him the center of the ring, but not giving him the ring generalship. Kind of baiting him in, keeping it at range. And you can really tell how much more experience both of these men have. Either it's in the gym that they train in but they're both oh not going crazy not moving too much too fast honestly this is looking like a way more experienced boxing match than you would think it right. is earlier we saw a fight this is boxing and four rounds too right so they they do have to actually fight they can't just go out here and completely go 100 miles an hour they've got to have a game plan and they've got to implement that game plan Right now, my main Nate is doing that very well. That's a great point. Later tonight, the co-main and main event, there are six rounds live on zone pay-per-view, and you have a little bit more of an opportunity to fill out. With these four rounders, you got to get right after it. Nice body shot right there from Winters and Nunes. That was a butt shot. Oh, nice yeah. body shot there with the left. Good speed from Winters and Nunes. Kind of starting to find his range a little bit. Those shots to the body, they'll bring up, they'll, they'll open up the shots upstairs, right? That's a good four body shots we've seen. Well, it's pretty clear that my mate Nate is, is far more willing to engage. 
but he's trying to keep the fight where he wants it, right? Which is at down range. range. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And he's doing really, really well at that. But a couple good moments for Winners and Nunes there. I don't know if it's enough to win the round. I wouldn't say it is. But still, they're both very much so in this fight. Good head movement, too. Ryan Garcia is back, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time since his mega fight against Tank Davis. He'll be looking to get back on track against the extremely dangerous Oscar Duarte, Saturday, December 2nd, on DAZN. You know, Garcia, we love Keith right here in DAZN, but Smart Duarte right now, the run fight. that he okay. is on and the momentum that he has what going heading out? into Come December 2nd, yeah. it's going to be a really Wouldn't tough fight for Ryan Garcia. Chega perto, não abaixa a mão. Tá muito pau pau. Tá. Só bota um pouquinho de volume, bota mais mão para agora. Joga. Ele sentiu embaixo. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw it, but on the zone social media, I get asked a lot: Do real boxers or professional boxers pay attention to this? Ryan Garcia had an incredible uh, video where he picked all the different fighters with a thought on these fights as well. Anthony Joshua as well. Hey, there's 20,000 people. Whoa, nice! Come on, come on. There's 20,000 people here. You're forced to pay attention. You know? Yeah, right. You can't ignore it. This thing sold out minutes after it went on sale. Good head movement from Winters and Nunes, but my man is making a good adjustment where now he's throwing in combination, right? So maybe he slipped the first one or the second, but that third one is starting to catch him right now. This is good. This is good improvement from my man Nate here. Well, Winners and Nunes is a game tough opponent though, coming straight forward. My mate Nate, three wins and only one loss as a pro. Started out 3-0, but lost to King Kenny. Who we will see a little bit later tonight. My mate Nate with great combinations here. Thrown upstairs and downstairs in the same combination. It's almost impossible to block all those shots. You can maybe block two or three of them, but at least one or two is going to land. See Nunez focusing on the body. He's yeah. having a lot of success there. Overhand right misses by a wide margin. I keep waiting for one of these guys to make a tag. That's <laughs> their last fight. <laughs> There's nobody there. Redness beginning to show on the body of Nate. Man, Todd, it looks like uh, it looks like Nunez can't miss with that body shot. It's landing almost 100 percent of the time. Nice job of cutting off the ring there from Nunez. Well, it feels like to me the first round was him trying to kind of gauge Nate and that long reach advantage that he has. But now Nunez is just standing there saying, listen, your jab's not really affecting me, and I'm going to keep moving forward, and you better be ready when I do. Yeah, this is one of those points where my man Nate, he's really got to kind of get that respect now, right? He's got to land something that's going to put a sting on Winterson. The Winterson can go, oh, all right, maybe, maybe I got to respect him a little bit because right now he's kind of found a hole in his defense. He's exploiting that, and he doesn't respect what's coming back at him. Oh, nice left there from Nate. Big sweeping hook misses. Winners and Nunes kind of putting everything on these punches where Nate's, he, he's kind of tapping him a little bit. So it's going to be interesting going into the third and fourth round, how that affects these guys. Yeah, we always keep an eye on the cardio, and that's always a, a, an issue with a lot of boxers, especially when they're starting out their careers. I think we're starting to see Nate slow down a little bit here in the second round. Boy, he's landing more punches. But the more power shots sure, coming from Winners and Nunes to the body. Earlier tonight, Olivia caught up with Anthony, Anthony Taylor. Anthony Taylor. Anthony, nearly ready. How are you feeling? I feel great. I feel amazed right now that I'm in this beautiful uh, country, um, the UK, just in general. I love to be here. It's my second home. I'm ready to fight. A lot of people have you down as favorite for this fight. Do you relish the pressure that comes with that? I mean, look, I, I mean, I should be the underdog. I'm coming from America. I'm fighting the bigger, longer fighter. But at the end of the day, I'm always the favorite. I'm even your girlfriend's favorite. <laughs> 
And your, your opponent, King Kenny, he comes into this fight off the back of two wins. Does that, does that bother you at all? No, not at all. Like, this is kind of like a Muhammad Ali moment. I'm 34 years old. We're the same age. I'm more of the oh, older, same, experienced same. fighter. And you got King Kenny, who's like George Foreman, the younger, heavier, stronger out. fighter. Round you mentioned three. experience. Yeah. Do you reckon that's going to be key tonight? Absolutely. We, we, he needs a, need a hug. He needs a hug. <laughs> Anthony, thank you very much. I Good luck tonight. You, He's never shied away from a microphone oh, or camera. So here we go. We're in the third round, a technical fight, unlike the slugfest opener we saw in our tag team contest. But perhaps these guys might open up a little more here in the third. And look, Coach, it's great and all if you can win a boxing contest like this, but Mams, Taylor, Kali, they want action, and now we're starting to get a little bit of it. Well, they tell every single fighter, every single time there's a Misfits event, the number one thing, you want to get called back, you want to be on the main card? Well, you've got to show me something. That should be in any organization, any place in the world, that's got to be number one. Not just that. Oh! Misfits. Big it's uppercut. Sorry, Nate, trying it again. You're allowed to talk now, and when he stops you, yeah, no. there you go. I'm just saying, at Misfits, it's not the end of the world if you lose. It really doesn't matter. They'd rather have exciting, important fights that are, you know, back and forth, that maybe you come up short than something that might be, you know, just a technical win. But we're not even, we're just, just past halfway through this fight, so it's still a long way to go. Yeah, those body shots are really starting to affect my mate Nate. You can see the grimace on his face. Grinch, you brought up a good point. Power versus volume. And I think as we get into the second half of this fight, we're starting to see the power Nunez take over the volume of Nate. And we're starting to see those body shots, which have a cumulative effect, start to really take that impact, right? You're seeing my mate Nate kind of wince a little bit, bringing his guard down a little bit. And this is the time, if I'm Winters and Nunes, I'm bringing these shots back upstairs, right? Because now he's really thinking about the body shot. Tough fight to score, though. There's good moments for both of these guys. Really is. Well, the jab's been there all fight long for Nate. I think we're really starting to see the game plans play out. Nate was all about using my reach and staying away. And I think Nunez said, listen, I'm going to be like a bulldog, like a rhinoceros, and just get closer and closer and closer until there's nothing he can do. Boy, Buddy, he can't cast himself out. Sorry, Todd. If this was a 10 or 12 rounder, which it obviously isn't, those body shots would really start to play a factor the longer the fight went on. I'm starting to see a lack of head movement from Winters and Nunez, though, now. I think he's gassing out just a little bit. He's kind of relying a bit more on the guard. And those hands of Nate are dropping to protect the rib cage. Look at that on the inside. He immediately drops him around his waist. And that's where, as you said, Nunez could come on top with an overhead right and maybe catch him. Yeah, we always talk about knockouts to the head, but you can get knocked out to the body just as easily once they start to take their toll. One round to go. Good combinations from my main Nate. Good forward pressure and ring generalship from Winters and Nunez. This is one of those rounds that's consistently difficult to judge. A lot of guys don't value body shots too much. And a lot of guys don't value light tapping punches too much, but it just depends on the judge. And, you know, these judges have been a little bit all over the place tonight, so I'm very interested to see how they're scoring this. And what did we see in the slow-mo replays roundhouse? We saw uppercut landing from Nate, yes, but we saw Nunez just shake his head and keep on coming. I think in this round, if he can be aggressive, continue to come forward, and continue to work the body, there's a chance that we could see a knockout in this final round. Three minutes to go here. Winterson Nunez and my mate Nate, two fighters with massive social media followings. But it's not about how many people like you, it's about how you handle the other guy standing in front of you. And right now, you think Nate might have a slight edge, but Nunez has really been good at pounding away at the body. I think a knockdown at this point could have such a big impact on the rest of the fight. 
Well, I think, Grinch, you said it. This has been a boxing exhibition and not a fight. And both guys now, they're still keeping their form. But I would tell them if I was in their corner, let's unload the chamber. Let's get it going because this round, I think, is going to decide everything. Especially if you're a guy like Winners and Nunes where, you know, I'm not sure how the scorecards are going to go in his favor right now. And if I'm his if I'm his corner, I'm saying, look, this guy hasn't really shown that he can hurt you. So why not take a bit more risks and try to get that, try to get that knocked down? Seems like that's what he did there. Lowered his hands to try and bait Nate into throwing something. You know, they say styles make fights, but styles also make really good efforts when it comes to the judges as well, if you're exciting. And Nunez's style isn't particularly exciting, but it has been effective. You're seeing the gas tanks of both of these guys definitely hurting a little bit. But good combination still from my mate Nate. I, I think Nate's landing a lot of shots. Oh! There's the best punch of the fight, a right hand from Nunez. He went back to it again. And now Nate has him against the ropes. And he should be unloading his offense. And now he's asking for him to come closer. Nate did a good job of wearing that shot. And he's been doing a good job of throwing in combination this round and just kind of ticking the points up, right? Just scoring the points because at the end of the day, one big shot, if your opponent doesn't go down, it doesn't do too much. But when you get to the last minute of a fight, that's what the judges remember. Not necessarily the first minute, but this last minute could be everything. Another good body shot from Nunez there. It's just tough when, you're, when you don't do this for a living mm -hmm. to be able to dig deep in the fourth round. This sport is so exhausting. It's like running on a treadmill while getting punched in the stomach. <laughs> Talking Ooh. trash is Nunez again. There's the left to the body right near the liver. Those body shots cannot miss for him tonight. That's, that's clearly been his game plan for the entire four rounds. But was it enough? He's landed a bunch of body shots. Wasn't able to put Nate down. Guys, I don't want to say this, but I feel like we could be seeing a second straight draw. Good head movement from Nunez. You want to finish the round strong, that's what Nate tried to do. His corner seems to think he, he's got it hook, line, and sinker, but I'm not so sure. Well, the girlfriend is screaming over in the corner. I think she's just happy that her man is standing at the end of his fight. She was screaming for 16 minutes. What do you think, Roundhouse? I thought it was a good 